Hi there. Welcome to this math strategy video. We're going to show you how to solve different problems. Today, we're going to look at finding fractions of numbers by repeated subtraction. We're going to try three problems. One-fifth of thirty-five, one-sixth of thirty-six, and one-eighth of thirty-two. We'll use some different materials today to learn how to do this. We'll be using unifix cubes and number lines. Let's get started. To figure out what one-fifth of thirty-five is, we can take our thirty-five cubes here and put them into five different groups. We could share them out equally one at a time. However, I'm going to show you a quicker way to do that. Instead of sharing into five groups, every time I take five away, that has one in each group. So I'm going to take thirty-five, take away five, that's one five, take away a second five, a third five, a fourth and fifth five, a sixth and a seventh five. So if I want to write that, I would do 35, take away 5, 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 take away 5 equals 0. So I've taken away 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 fives. So 1 fifth of 35 equals 7. Another way that I could show this is using a number line. If I start on 35, I'm going to take away 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5. 5. 5. 5. And one last one is 5. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So same as our answer before, 1 fifth of 35 is 7. Our second problem is a little bit more difficult, as if we were finding 1 fifth of a number, we're taking out groups of 5 and subtracting, and subtracting by 5 is a lot easier than subtracting by 6, or for our 1 6 of 36. Let's try taking away our first 6, then we're going to take a second 6, but I've got four left here, so I need to take away two. So that's my third sixth. Um, there is another sixth. The brilliant thing about these cubes is that you can actually match them up and make sure you get the same number. So in my groups of six here, I have six. So one sixth of thirty-six is, in fact, one, two, three, four, five, six. Going back to our number line. I start on 36, and I'm going to take away 6, so 30 take away 6 is 24, and 24 take away 6 is 18, and 18 take away 6 is 12, 12 take away 6 is 6, and 6 take away 6 is 0. So I did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6's, and that was 36, so 1 6 of 36 is 6. For the last problem today, I'm going to look at 1 8 of 32. We're going to start with our number line and start on 32. So 32 take away 8 is 24, so that's 1. 24 take away 8 is 16. 16 take away 8 is 8, and 8 take away 8 is 0. So we've taken away 1, 2, 3, 4 eighths, so 1 eighth of 32 is 4. Or, we could write that as 32 take away 8 equals 24, 24 take away 8 equals 16, 16 take away 8 equals 8, and 8 take away 8 equals 0. We had to take away 1, 2, 3, 4 eighths, so again, it matches up with our answer from the previous method of 1 8th of 32 equaling 4. I hope that this helped. After I'm done talking, I'm going to put some problems up on the screen for you to practice. Pause the video and try the problems. When you're done, unpause the video and check your answers. If you didn't understand something in the video, go back and watch parts of it again. You can use the timestamps in the bottom to find the different problems. 
Thanks a lot. See you next time.